hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the latest episode of Can My Laptop Technically Run Oblivion? Featuring wall-to-wall -wall technical inadequacies. We've got 4x3 aspect ratio, we've got 640x480 resolution, V-Sync, ha! I laugh at your V-Sync. We've got maybe 15 frames per second, if you're lucky, a guaranteed medium textures at best, and oh my, it would take nothing short of a miracle for this to be anything other than a complete technical train wreck. This must surely be the worst thing on YouTube. Who could possibly have the patience for 39 episodes of this, and certainly not 40? That's just ridiculous. How in the world could... Uh, what? Uh, ah, phew! Oh. 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 At long last, beloved viewers, you can see... The Cack Shack in high definition. And perhaps you're wondering by what God-induced event this ha this is possible. And that in God-induced event is called phenomenal generosity on the part of uh, one couple from South Dakota, USA. Mr. and Mrs. Gutierrez. Gut Guti Guti Iris. I'll probably spell it on the screen. Let's be honest. Those people from the other side of the frickin' world approached me and said, "Oi, we're eyeing up this computer on uh, the eBay's. How would you like us to dump a bunch of money in your PayPal?" And I'm like, "Um, I are you for real? I'm not sure why I'm looking. Why am I? Why is Rexy looking over there? Oh." Oh, hello, Picard Jr. <laughs> um, yeah, you were missing for a long time. He's shown up for the episode. Let's go into first person. <laughs> He's shown up for the episode. Wow, the whole crew's here. Wow. Um, you're looking very shiny in HD, Picard Jr. Uh, <laughs> but I was having a bit of a uh, thank you message to someone. Yes. The single most ridiculous act of generosity from strangers I've ever witnessed. These people from the other side of the world bought me a computer, ladies and gentlemen. Not like a top-of-the-range, going-to-play-Crisis 3 at maximum setting sort of thing, but a perfectly adequate bloody computer, big tower thing, and I, like, Frankensteined everything so it's plugged into, uh, into the telly and... Oh, it's just... it's ridiculous, these people. How are you so generous? I don't understand how you can... Uh, they, they're insisting I don't play it up. They're like, oh, we're just contributing to the arts, don't worry, just keep doing your stupid shit you do, everything's fine. And I'm like, you bought me a computer out of nowhere, how do I not make a big deal out of it? So yeah, um... Holy hell, guys. I hope this attempt at uh, bringing Oblivion to long overdue actual technical adequacy is a small thanks, okay. Holy crap. Yes, this is my first proper recording I'm doing on the precious, precious new computer. So, I'm already aware of one issue where I can't actually hear the game audio through the headset while I'm recording. Uh, that may not be a big problem for some games, for others it will be. I'll try and fix that, but for now I'm just going to have to use my imagination. I'll create my own music! Come on, Picard Jr., why aren't you dancing? Why aren't you dancing? You look happy for once, Picard Jr. Usually you're so mopey and morose. Anyway, but yes, all very exciting. So exciting, in fact, that I had to put Wilson to bed. I, like, he was getting really excitable. I shouldn't have given him all that sunny D either. It didn't help the situation. So I kind of tucked him in, gave him his favourite book to read, you know. Yeah. But yeah, the Cack Shack, actually, look, it's still decidedly khaki. If anything, um, this is kind of like when HD became a thing and everyone was worried that makeup, they wouldn't be able to keep up with HD because people would look so hideous with all the detail on their faces. But, you know, as far as a high-definition crappy house goes, this is, this is probably about as good as the Cack Shack will ever look. So, yeah. Indeed! 
Good. Uh, in case you haven't figured it out, I also have my mouse at a new location and I'm not used to controlling it yet. Had to mess with sensitivity and stuff. This is all very new, all very new. But I'm looking at the screen and I've apparently been rambling at you for about three minutes, but... Mr. and Mrs. Gutierrez from South Dakota, USA. Thank you. Everything you see that's in HD on this channel, pretty much, you can th you can directly thank these people for that. So, there you are. I hope that's enough thanks for the minute, because we need adventure. Adventure must be had. Ah, now, I started off in the Cack Shack, just so you could get a glimpse of um, what it looked like. In HD, but now I think we should actually go. So oh my God! And he forgot Wilson. Come on, Wilson. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens. The two times it has happened means that it has always happened. Um, Any time, by the way, that the screen randomly flies into the ceiling or the floor, that's probably because I've just dropped my mouse and had to grab it again. Uh, the height of competence, all always. But um, another long hiatus has been brought to an end. Picard Jr. has turned up for the reunion, which is good. I, I didn't know where he was, so I just kind of left him. I guess he went... No, here it is. He went on his own adventure while I was gone. Oh, Picard Jr., a f good thinking. You're the... Ah, oh, I've accidentally clicked on you now. No, no, follow me. Don't wait here. I don't know where you've been... I should have left him to wait somewhere. That would be cruel, actually, just leaving him to wait somewhere for two months. Follow me, Picard Jr. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, some things never change. My inability to stick with a topic. Oh my god, the pretty sky. Oh my god. And the, uh, Look at... Da, da, ba, ba, I mean, in all honesty, I actually think I could have turned up some of the settings a bit more. I've got textures and stuff on their maximum, but... I kind of wanted to start off a little slow and then boost things if I figured it's running at a smooth 30 frames a second here with just hardly any dipping, so... Jesus Christ, compared to the crap top, this is just... If this is just two hours, this recording of me going, oh my god, I love this computer so much. Yeah, oh, let's see what the torch looks like. Oh, look at a torch with the light in the night. All alone in the night. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Gutierrez. You have caused another Babylon 5 reference to occur. You're welcome. Oh my god, I just want to go swimming. The water actually looks halfway like water now. Be like water. Oh yeah, and I'm Argonian, so I can swim forever, even in like massive tin armor. Yay. We're going to swim forever. Can't keep Argonians in a landlocked environment. Got to get some juice south in there too. But anyway, God. Look, seriously now, my plan for today on the beautiful, beautiful HD map, I'm, I'm so happy I've apparently managed to transplant all the mods onto this. Oh look, I put a thing here to remind myself. We're going back to Anvil because I feel once or twice I've kind of gone into a city, stood around for two minutes, then decided to move on. And this happened to Anvil. I kind of want to actually, you know, have a couple of episodes in Anvil before I give up and never go back there and never think about it again. You know, not like Skingrad where we have entirely valid reason never ever to go back there again on pain of death. I figure with Anvil, it's a perfectly pleasant town. What's the time? Oh, it's nice morning sort of time. Did you just teleport out of nowhere? Your shadow did. Your shadow appeared weirdly. Anyway, here we are, <laughs> doing things. I'm in my full Robocop outfit. I've, I seem to recall getting a bow at some point. Yes, I have a crappy bow and a blade of woe and all sorts of hose. That rhymes. Yay. Uh, but there we are. Words. Words are happening. So many words. But uh, how is everyone? How is everyone? Mm. Delicious water taken when you wouldn't notice. Uh, because a hell of a lot has happened in life and I presume... Yeah, Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil Martin was going off on his adventures. All sorts of crap's happening. You look really tanned now, Martin. Were you always that colour? Eh, strange. But there, uh, there's a mermaid thing. 
It's, it's, I like. I like. Uh, um, did I call it Breville? I may have done that without thinking, because I get the names confused all the bloody time. But this is Anvil. It's it's nice. There's this buildings and walls. There's, there's another building over there. Whoa, it's complicated. Complicated. I love how shiny my armor is now. Look at it. It's actually got some specular effect thing on it. So you can like really admire the detail on that ass and try and figure out where the hell my tail is attached to my spine. Wow. It's such a freaking thing. All the possibilities this computer opens up. And yes, I'm still talking about the computer because holy shit. I wanted to play Amnesia because I own that and can now finally actually run it on this computer. I would want the audio for that to be working properly, but eh. But uh, yeah, Anvil, look, there's a bunch of buildings. Bunch of buildings. Look how nice they are. Look, okay. I, I remember, I remember. There's a Fighters Guild over here. There's also a Mages Guild, but fuck the Mages Guild. They've been absolutely nothing but cheap buggers to us in the past, and I do not associate with cheap buggers. Did I definitely remember to pick up Wilson? Let's just confirm this. Yes, I did. Along with all this other crap, I probably meant to sell. Oh, well, what's this? What's this? What is this? I don't know. But it does things. <laughs> Let's keep it then. It sounds important. Oh, I've got the Magic 8 Ball. Oh, the Magic 8 Ball. Magic 8 Ball. Magic 8 Ball. How amazing is my computer? I've forgotten how to drop things. There we go. How amazing is my computer? <gasps> it's awesome to the extreme. Oh, amazing. Going into the Fighters Guild, because they pay their members, yes, they pay their penises, and we <laughs> uh, nothing's changed. You can change my computer, you can change my resolution, but you can't oh. change the terrible attempt at music while making terrible words in my brain, and you know how it goes. Hmm. I'm drinking water while recording, that's different. That's a thing. You're talking to me in silence. Hang on, do I have the subtitles turned on? Oh, bugger. Bugger me if I don't have the subtitles. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be fun, trying to figure out what people are saying without the subtitles turned on. Where is it? Um, Yes, let's have that. Why not? General subtitles. Yes. It's the only way I'm going to hear anybody, so it's probably for the best. Oh, Martin. Martin, Martin, Martin. Picard Jr., whatever. Here's a scary fact I meant to bring up last time. Um, yeah, Martin, uh, that's my middle name in real life. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm. It's, it's, it's weird how Oblivion is just consuming like, my life now. I can't do anything other than Oblivion-related things. Uh, should I set this as my... Pff, uh, oh, there's also the quest with some, like, gang of people doing naughty things to other people. That was vaguely interesting. Sounds like there might be some schmexy times in that quest, but... Yes, Wilson on the loading screen. I know, I know. Ooh! Oh my god, there's like a dinosaur hand in it. They won't mind. <laughs> They won't miss this. Oh, fine. Oh, it's a dog. Hey, dog. Oh, he's called Mojo. And his name is cut off slightly at the corner of the screen. Yay. I probably won't show up in the recording. I don't think. I don't even know. There's so many questions. Oh, oh, Mojo. I'm taking <laughs> I'm taking your, your breakfast, Mojo. I'm shoving it in my face. Uh, venison and the other one. Washing it down with some... Booze! Yeah! <laughs> uh, oh, Martin, you're uh, kind of... You're, you're one with the beasts, I see. Yes. Let's move on. Uh, I seem to recall... <laughs> this was a good impression, picking the lock of my uh, boss's room. No, he's not even in here! So I broke into his room for nothing. Well, that makes me so angry, I'm just going to steal anything that doesn't count as stealing. There isn't anything worth having that doesn't count as stealing. Uh, yawn! There we go. That's worth having. <laughs> what if I need to make a nice woolen woolen scarf for myself? Did you think of that? Did you think of that? I thought of it. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, another 
random distraction about the PC. If you've put up with 39 episodes of this by now, you probably are willing to put up with the technical inadequacies, but now you don't have to, because it actually looks okay. Huzzah! Woo, etc. Hello! You're my boss. You say things to me. You have some really nice quills. Hmm. Can I steal your food? Yes, I can. Uh, be very gentle not to accidentally steal the bowl. There we go. <laughs> hey, boss. I hope you didn't want these apples, because they're mine. It, sound, it looks like you're kind of talking into your uh, Star Trek communicator. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Scotty, we've got some uh, shit going down here. That's, that's how they talk in Star Trek. Uh, just talk to me. Of the oh yeah, I'll have to do voices now. I'm Azar, head of the Anvil Fighting Skill Chapter and Advanced Blood Weapons Training. He sounds exactly like a bad Brian Blessed Brian Blessed impression. Yes, that's how bad of a Brian Blessed impression he does. Is he can't even get the name right. Uh, God, this takes me back. Rumors. When I passed by Benarus Manor last night, it's so exciting not actually being able to even hear them say, "Oh." But this rumor itself sounds exciting. Wow, it's like a, it's like some murder going on. Who is this dude who's been killing people? That lay about. You can find. Wow, he he sits around wasting time at a pub. That sounds like someone I know. Hmm. Ah, not today though. Not drinking on the job. Just precious, precious water is my poison today. Um. Anvil Chapel attack. What's this? The prophet speaks true. Prophet. This is the start of something Ooh. terrible. I, can I haven't been mind. here for two months. You'll have to explain. Oh God. Yeah, Picard Junior. You'll have to uh, fill me up on the details. Whatever the hell's been going on. Um. Prophet. You should listen to him preach. He may sound crazy. Sing it, preacher. But the longer you listen, the more sense he makes. He may sound crazy at first, but the more you listen, the more sense he makes. Again, this sounds like someone I'm quite familiar with. Uh, stroke that ego, Kieran. Stroke it. Stroke it like a delicious foxy thing. Cuddly, cuddly foxes. Did you know co foxes are cuddly and adorable? It's true. There's an entire there's a man on YouTube with a pet fox, and it's the most stupidly adorable thing in the world. Oh. Can I steal all of your shit? You! You, Picard Jr., what the fuck's been going on? There's some chapel murder or something and a prophet. You're like a priest or something, you should know this shit. Come on, come on. Maybe if I nudge you a bit, you will remember what the hell's going on. Can I jump on you like Super Mario? Can I sit in a chair while you think about what you did? No, none of this is actually helping you to remember things. Fine. All I can think, by the way, is how pretty even this painting on the wall looks. Wow. It's like I'm really looking at a painting in a made-up fantasy land. Wow. But, <laughs> yes, um, another thing, assuming my brain is up to it, which I suspect it isn't, but assuming it is, I might do an extra long episode. Partly because it's always ages between episodes, and partly also because... I can do that now. I have an amazing computer with a massive hard drive. Woo! So obviously I should push this new computer to its limits immediately. That's a brilliant idea. That could in no way backfire. Presumably if you're watching this video something is actually functioning. Hang on, I meant to talk to you about actual like quests. Yeah, there we go. Contract, didn't I? I think I've got something that suits your experience. Oh, fantastic. You're getting me to check out like Rodents, fantastic, wonderful, and other words, <laughs> rats. Yes, rats. I'm sure she can explain it to you better than I. She lives here in Anvil. Go and talk to her. Good luck. Yeah, you sm smug bastard, sending me on some crappy quest. Which, which, no rat problem. Thank you. Not that other one. The other one is not involved rats. There'd better be my. Oh, once again, I've forgotten to turn off my. How how do you how do you turn off the like? I've forgotten how you turn off the little map icon thing. Um, no, okay, no, that blue icon is just there forever now because I've forgotten how to turn it off. So never mind. Come along, Picard Junior. <laughs> ah, you actually teleported ahead of me. <laughs> 